Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about the phases of the goddess and also the karmic power of three. Um, so the phases of the goddess is represented by this, um, the full moon, and then the two smaller ones. Um, so getting into this, so this first one here, this one is the maiden. Um, and it's represented by the new waxing moon. Um, it symbolizes manifesting, goal setting, attracting new things, beauty, love, youth, independence, and strength. So this is really talking about um, the phases of a goddess kind of goes through the phases of life. Um, and you'll notice that more as I talk about it. Um, but it's kind of talking about our younger side, um, the beginning phases of growing up. And then getting into the full moon here, that's represented obviously by the full moon. Um, purification, saying thanks, celebrating accomplishments, letting go and getting rid of things, kind of growing up, starting to notice gratitude in things. Um, and then the crone, which is this one right here, that's re represented by the fading moon. Um, that's where we get into shadow work. Um, protection, divination, banishing, um, meditation, journaling, and introspection. Um, I'm definitely more connected to the crone. I'm kind of an introvert um, and like to kind of get into that meditative state of mind with things. Um, now, they, they go hand in hand. The power of three, again, if you've watched Charmed, you've probably heard a lot about this, um, but it's a real thing. It is represented by the Triketra, which is the symbol right here. Um, and basically what the power of three is, it's a witch's law. Um, so it is what we abide by, right? Um, it's what we believe. And again, these videos are all my opinion. This is just what I have found that most people of our, I don't know, of our liking, um, kind of go with, believe in, um, and assert themselves with. Um, so it says, whatever energy a person puts out into the world, be it positive or negative, it will re be returned to that person three times. So karmic power of three, if you do something negative, um, it's going to come back to you threefold. But if you put something positive out to the world, it's also going to come back threefold. So that's something um, that you need to keep in mind just in your daily life too. Um, so when I was talking about candles, how I said that I, excuse me, how I set um, the candles up in... Let me see here. So sometimes when I do spell work, I will set up a candle here, 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 and here on the ground um, in the pentacle form. I will also do the karmic power of three as well. So I will light three candles, um, be it that they are all white or um, going back to how each candle has a different meaning, um, kind of what I'm looking for in that day. Um, and then a lot of times when I do my spells, I will actually say them three times. Just, it kind of sounds almost OCD, um, but it's, it's really to harness in that energy and bring in some, some good energy to it. Um, and that's something to keep in mind too, if you're someone who is thinking about getting into hexes and curses. Um, that you really, really want to protect yourself when you do that. You want to set yourself up so that that is not going to come back onto you. I prefer to actually do karma spells instead of hexes. Um, I just think that right now, especially being pregnant, that it's a little bit safer for me um, and the little person that I'm growing. Um, that That's a really light overview of everything on that. I don't think I have too much more to cover. Um, but if you guys have any questions on that or any topics that you'd like to hear, make sure you shoot me an email. See ya.